Hi, welcome back. Today I'm doing another Henry Weston cider review. This is the medium dry age finished um, cider. It's 180 days aged, which is six months in loose change. Um, and it's their 2018 finish. Now I tried their vintage. Uh, I compared that to Woodgate vintage. And I think that was a 2019 vintage. So I um, don't know what the difference is. Well, it could be in the flavor. Let's open this and find out. Again, on the back of the bottle, there is very little information about it. There is no percentage of fermented apple juice used. Um, it doesn't really tell me anything about the variety of cider apples that they've used, just that it's, uh, you know, a Herefordshire cider. It does have the uh, protected um, geographical location symbol. Uh, 6.5 by volume, 500 mils. So now you know as much as I know. Let's open this, find out what we've got. I said so far, these ciders have been absolutely fantastic. And I'm trying to give you an honest review. Um, you know, I don't go looking for, for something nasty or bad to say about them. I give you my honest opinion. And so far, they are knocking it out of the park. I said my only complaint is on the back of the bottle. There just isn't enough information. They're not waxing lyrical enough about the brewing process, the type of cider apples they use, and the percentage, you know, of cider um, fermented cider, uh, fermented cider juice, or even fermented apple juice. Okay, so as we can see, I hope you're picking that up. It's a lovely sort of golden colour. Quite a lot of carbonation on the glass. Not overly fizzy, so I think this might possibly be a natural carbonation. So it doesn't appear to be forced. Again, like most of the ciders I've tried of theirs, they're quite light, but like a big flavor. It's a big complex flavor. sort of, I was going to say, it's not apples I'm getting on the nose, but it's a smell that I associate with a traditional cider. Some of the lighter ones I've tried in cans don't have anything going for them at all, and certainly not the white ciders. I'll, I'll put a link to those. They were not good. But this is a whole different ball game. Sort of a complex, sort of, yeah, I want to say cider smell, but it's it's sort of a complex, deep, okay. Buckets of flavour, but at the same time, it's light on the palate. The only way I can really explain it is you've got to get one of these and you've got to give it a go yourself. Okay, well, that, my friends, is absolutely fantastic. Again, they've done three on the trot now. Uh, I've done the vintage, the cloudy apple, uh, and this is the aged. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Wouldn't hesitate to recommend this. Um, brilliant. So I hope you're enjoying these as much as I am. If you are, please hit the like and subscribe. Your uh, support is always appreciated. Be good to yourselves. Cheers.